All right, developing this morning, reports that new first best friend Elon Musk is starting to irritate President-elect Trump's advisors. During a dinner at Mar-a-Lago, Axios reports of a heated confrontation between Musk and Trump advisor and attorney Boris Epstein. They write, quote, at one point during what the sources described as a massive blow up, Musk accused Epstein of leaking details of Trump's transition, including a personnel picks to the media. Epstein responded by telling Musk that he didn't know what he was talking about. This comes amid new reports that Musk is also becoming a source of infighting the Trump transition team surrounding the choice for Treasury Secretary. Musk is backing Trump transition co-chair and fellow billionaire Howard Lutnick for the job, while Trump's advisors are pushing for hedge fund CEO Scott Besant. The billionaire not only putting his two or ten cents in, but also asking his more than 200 million followers to weigh in. He posted to Twitter, quote, would be interesting to hear more people weigh in uh, on this for real Donald Trump to consider feedback. My view for what it's worth is Besant is a business as usual choice, whereas Howard Lutnick will actually enact change. Business as usual is driving America bankrupt. We need change one way or another. With us now is national political correspondent for Politico, Meredith McGraw. You know, it's pretty interesting. So Musk is in the room where it happens a lot of time, but he's also tweeting from outside the room trying to influence things. Well, it's not just Musk who has inserted himself into the transition. It's really Trump's whole, um, you know, early kitchen cabinet here, advisors, people, uh, Mar-a-Lago members, um, friends that are weighing in. But Musk is spending a lot of time with Donald Trump since he got elected. He's been an ever present uh, person at Trump's side at his club. He's sitting in on meetings. He's traveling with him like he did this weekend to the professional uh, the UFC fight in, in New York City. And he is spending a lot of time with Trump. He's giving his insight and input on some of these picks, including most recently Treasury Secretary, which is one of the last really big uh, remaining cabinet picks that Trump has yet to announce. And there's already been some infighting behind the scenes and jockeying between different potential candidates, including Howard Lutnick, who is currently co-chair of Trump's transition, uh, hedge fund CEO Scott Besson, and some other dark horse candidates who have now, um, their names have come up because of this back and forth and different people getting involved in the process.